Hello and welcome everyone to this live demo series on SAP UI5 flexible programming model with me Anubhav on Anubhav learning series. In these next couple of days, every alternative day, I will be coming live on YouTube based on your request and we will be taking you through the journey of how to develop or use the flexible programming model to build an end-to-end -end Fury application in SAP Business Application Studio. Our today's episode agenda is to under understand what is SAP UI5 flexible programming model, why do we need to use it, and how to use it. So let's get started. Many of you have come to me in the past and asked me that you are using Fury elements and eventually at the end of the day, you have to come out of it and build more of a freestyle application. The reason being, the Fury element gives you very less flexibility as compared to freestyle app. So how can we leverage still the Fury element by also incorporating on top our freestyle application components? Yes, the way we want. So that's where SAP is bridging now the gap using flexible programming model. Now please note that this programming model as of now works with latest UI5 version 109 as well as it works with OData version 4 only. So if you are still using version 2 OData, then you might face difficulties with this programming model. So don't worry, in this series of videos, we have power pack exercises for you with real hands-on expertise you will be able to gain so that you can understand and leverage the flexible programming model in your current applications or in the future applications which you will be building. So let's try and understand what is the flexible programming model. The SAP UI5 flexible programming model is the next generation development paradigm to leverage Fury elements and also combine it with freestyle UI5 code. You know the benefits of SAP Fury elements. It increases the developer productivity and also harmonizes the user experience. Most of the Fury element applications, they require less amount of code. They automatically generate majority of the UI code. And as a developer, we focus only on annotations. This will take away to some extent the flexibility from us. And that is why sometimes we have to ditch the Fury elements and switch to freestyle app development. So now we have a very good programming model provided by SAP where we can combine both Fury elements and its advantages along with the freestyle components. Wow. So it will help you to increase your productivity with the UI5 application development, combining the two paradigms together. The flexible programming model with UI5 allows developers to bridge the gaps to include custom controls with the freestyle approach inside the Fury elements application. So what are the key advantages which we will be looking at? So first we can combine the Fury element and freestyle to basically bridge that delta gap which we have between the element and the style, freestyle applications. So we can use the standard Fury elements component like which are known as building blocks in our case. I will introduce you what do you mean by building blocks and then we can reuse and combine these elements together with the freestyle application elements. We can also build side effect free extensions to allow us to take benefit from the Fury element runtime orchestration, behaviors like the draft functionality, the side effects, and also the internationalization features. We can leverage them as it is and build an application with this programming model with the flexibility. So we kind of finding a middle ground between Fury element and the freestyle approach to bring all the users functional requirement into the consideration while developing the apps. So let's understand in a simple way what is the flexible programming model technically is. Now imagine a use case where Anubhav have developed a Fury element application. So you know this is how the Fury element uh, list report application which is very popular look like. So I will take a screenshot of that really quick. I'm going to switch over back to our PPD. So when you develop a list report Fury application that is the look and feel you get which is pretty standard. Yes. And hardly you would be able to make any change into the overall layout of this application, right? So 
on the other side if your user is too much demanding they would expect you to design an application with a completely different experience so your user let's say demand you to develop an application which is similar but quite different with a lot of free freestyle components for example user is asking you to develop an application with the tiles on the top so you we want all the tiles here on the top yes now as you know that the fury standard floor plan for least report doesn't offer you a feature to include tiles on the top of the page right so this is what user want then user want the filter bar and then user want maybe let's say a, a panel with a simple form and then finally they want the smart table yes so this is the design which is expected by the user and this is the design is which was generated by the, by the element yes so how do you bridge this gap so option one in the past you used to think okay i will develop a completely new freestyle fury application but now we have the middle ground so what if i say we can combine the freestyle approach and the fury element together to make this guy yes so that is going to be a wow experience as a developer so what sap says is that every part of the fury element application is called a building block so you see this filter bar yes this is a building block one let's say you see this table this is a building block too so everything i am bifurcating from a fury element application to a building block and i can reuse this building block in my flexible programming model as as the way we use like a button control or a tile control or a chart control exactly so this is what gives you the flexibility to incorporate changes and build it in a freestyle app so in a in a flexible programming model custom application you will actually get a freestyle application look where you get a view yes and inside this view you can say i want to start my view with a tile container as my first control which is basically a freestyle and then i can go back and include my first building block one which is basically going to get me a smart filter bar from the fury elements and it will function also you do not need to write any extra coding for for the logic of this like the go button the search button everything works the way it's supposed to be in the past on top of it you can also add some delta along with this like id changes or some changes if you would like to do then you can add the panel control from the freestyle world with a simple form as an aggregation and then right at the bottom you can add the second building block which is your smart table wow so as a result of that you're going to get this kind of an application which is a mixture of the standard fuel element plus a freestyle and you are free to leverage all the application logic which fury element generate for the events and the behaviors for these building blocks so the entire application is broken down into pieces we connect these pieces together to eventually get our final application that is exactly what is a flexible programming model in a nutshell is yes so don't worry we are going to do the hands-on exercises so a lot of study material will be shared with you with the necessary content so that it makes it makes you very comfortable with the flexible programming model so please stay tuned every alternative day starting today with me on youtube 7 pm ist india time so that you can join live sessions with me on youtube this is a live session series we are starting today and in this whole journey we will be taking you through the flexible programming model all the source code and the material will be also shared with you so that you can download and practice and also go together with us in a real hands-on sessions having said that let's get started now over the system to and to basically build our first application with flexible programming model now before we build any application the first thing which you would consider or which you would need is basically some kind of a data model so when you want to build an application the first thing which we would need is a data absolutely so we need some data model or a database on top of it we can actually build our exercises yes 
Yes, that's what we want. So we have already prepared a data model using SAP cloud application programming model. So if you do not know the cloud application programming model, do not worry. Uh, you just follow this step number one and you will be still able to run this data model. So this data model is based on the classical S flight schema which you see in ERP, which we used to study ABAP also. So that is what it is based on. On top of it, we will basically get a service out of it of version 4. So this is something which is a prerequisite we will be setting up as part of today's class. And then we will begin to generate our Fury app. So our focus as a developer will be not this part. These are just prerequisites. These are just part of basic setup. But our focus will be more on to building the flexible, using the flexible programming model, a UI5 application. That will be our focus and whatever service and infrastructure and data model is required, it's already pre-built by me and I will be sharing that with all of you now in the second section. So the development tool, as we all know, as a developer, you have to use the development tool business application studio. If you are also new to business application studio please check the description of this video i have given a link of how to set up free sap business application studio for yourself to get started and get yourself onboarded as a developer with ui5 application development on pass tool so please check the description of this video if you think my work is helping you please like share subscribe this channel please also like this video it will help me to help me to get motivated to bring more content like this for you. So having said that, I will switch over now to our development tool, which is Business Application Studio. And I have kind of already created here a, a Business Application Studio dev space. The dev space which we have to choose is of type Cloud Application Programming dev space. And now immediately I will clone a repository. So we are providing you a repository. This link also I will share in the in the description of the current video so kindly check that link and you can simply go to this link on git and just copy this url from here and straight ahead go back to the bash tool and say clone the repository so this repository contains basically the flight data model which is kind of a prerequisite for us to develop our uh, and learn flexible ui5 programming model so we need to clone it in the projects directory Usually we clone everything inside a project directory. So now you can see we are going to start the clone and the clone will be done. Right after the clone is done, you will see the application is cloned and now it has opened over here. Nice. The next thing which we need to do now is to set up the necessary tools. So for that, we are just going to go to terminal, new terminal, and then we go to this directory, which is Anubav flight repo cap. And in this, we are going to run a small command called npm install. So it will install all the required node modules for us in the system. So for this particular project, which we would require. So we can create here a new bash terminal. And then we can proceed to install the node dependencies. So let's run npm install command. And you will see that it is installing. Perfect, cool, done. And once it is done, we can start and test this app. So we can go to package JSON file and we have a script here to execute start script. We can just say run. This is just the data model which we, are which we have given you. So it has no Fury app at the moment. It is just the data model, the flight data model, which you can test and experience. Uh, you know, like a classical ERP data model. So this is kind of a prerequisite to learn the Fury app development with flexible programming model. So just, just a base we are preparing right now. So we can open now and explore the service which it has generated. So you can see it has got a, a service created with a metadata. And it has got multiple entity sets for flight data model. Suppose you wanted to travel to abroad for a vacation. So what all the entities you can think of in a in a in a data data design? So it could contain the the flight, the carriers, the flights, the flight information, the dates on which the flights are there, the booking information, the travel, and the passenger information. So that's a pretty simple entity what we have. So now in this we have the travel entity. We can free fury preview. 
here this travel entity to see what are all the simple data sets which we have in this entity so it's more of a uh, data model which is a prerequisite which we would need to work and learn the UI5 app development with flexible programming model so now it's just booting up and you will see some demo data over here so I'm just going to add a couple of columns like begin date booking fees description yes travel ID and go green total price and the travel status yeah so this is some of the data which you will see so we have some demo data also for you in this data model already prepared so you can think of if you already have such a such a data model or data service from your on-premise system you can create a cloud connector and create a destination to connect to that service as well if you had built it using using RAP RESTful application programming model or using maybe classical ERP SCGW approach you can also use that service for this for this uh, for the practice of these sessions but this is more of a prerequisite so kindly check the description of this video where I provided the git link to set up this and test just this data model in your system so yeah that is how we can set up our uh, our infrastructure right and if you are new to business application studio please also check the description of this video where I've given the link to set up the business application studio so that is our first session where we just introduced the flexible programming model on SAP UI5 what is it why we need and we set up our required infrastructure to be able to build our first application so in the next episode tomorrow I'm going to start with how to set up your first a custom application to start with flexible programming model I hope you enjoyed this session thank you so much once again for watching and staying tuned see you in the live session day after tomorrow have a nice day goodbye